Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we shall be looking at difference of projections. So if you remember that in the previous videos, we have learned about the uh, result on product of projections. We learned about the result on sum of projections and we learned about in this video, we'll be going to learn about the difference of projections. So what are the basic differences? I have listed down all the differences here. So let's have a look at this box here. First of all, for in case of product, whenever you have two projections, P1 and P2, so your projections would be defined in a manner that it would map H2 Y1 intersection Y2, where what is Y1? Y1 is corresponding to the image space corresponding to the projection P1 and Y2 is the image space corresponding to the uh, projection P2, right? So and moreover, we have we should have a condition that this thing would hold whenever the projections they commute with each other, right? In case of sum, so we have discussed about this product thing in case of sum of projections. So whenever you have two projections P1 and P2, then the sum projection would map whole of the Hilbert space to the direct sum of Y1 with Y2, where what is the condition? The condition is that the two spaces Y1 and Y2, they should be orthogonal to each other. Now, in case of difference of two projections, what is the uh, property here the property is that it would map whole of this hilbert space to a space which is nothing but y1 orthogonal complement of the space y1 intersection with y2 and in this case the uh, condition is that y1 should be contained in y2 this thing would be clear from this theorem here now it tells us that under what conditions the difference projection is a projection right so in this case you can assume that we are given P1 and P2 as two projections as always which are defined on Hilbert space. So we'll be calling P1 uh, from H to Y1 and P2 from H to Y2, right? So these are two projections that are given to us. Then they are saying if we define the difference projection by the letter P, that is P2 minus P1. So we could call this thing the difference as a projection whenever if and only if so it is a both way condition again whenever the space y1 is contained in the space y2 first thing right and second part it tells us that from onto where it is uh, mapping the whole of the hilbert space this uh, p that is a projection whenever it projects whole of the Hilbert space onto Y. And in this case, what is this Y? This Y is the orthogonal complement of Y1 in Y2. So that means it could be written in something like this. So what is this Y? Y is the orthogonal complement of Y1 in Y2. So that means we could take the intersection of Y1 uh, complement with Y2. Why? Because whole of this Y1 is a member of Y2. Right. So this is the result about the difference of projections. In the next video, we'll be looking at its proof, how we can prove this result. Well, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching.